Hi there, hey there, I'm Aaron, and this is Camp Peculiar, a channel dedicated to comic and visual storytelling using AI art. A super quick tip today that is going to save you a ton of time in creating comic strips or comics with AI art. This one is for Midjourney. Did you know that you can save a prompt as a placeholder in Midjourney, and then it becomes your own custom dash dash command? That's right. You can save a bunch of words together that you use on every prompt, assign them to your own dash dash parameter, then just call them up whenever you want. It's an amazingly quick way to save common comic creation commands. Come on. There's a pro level use of the letter C at the beginning of words there. This will save you a ton of time, it will save you a ton of typing, and this is the most important part. I don't know about you, for, for me, when I'm working on a comic project, I think, hey, there's no better time to try out new style information, new types of prompts, new things, and then I find something I like, so I kind of integrate that in, and then over the course of the project, the art style starts to shift a little bit. Saving a prompt ending like I'm about to show you will help you just stay consistent with that particular comic project. So open up Midjourney, and you're going to type in forward slash prefer space option space set. That slash prefer option set, all their own words there. And then you're going to hit tab. Don't hit enter. Hit tab. You might have to hit it once or twice there. And it's going to bring up the first field that Midjourney would like you to populate. And that field is the option field. In the option field, you're going to give this option set, this saved placeholder of prompt words, you're going to give it a name. And that name is going to become its dash dash command later. So the first thing you're going to do in this options area is specify the name of this placeholder or what Midjourney calls an option set. This is the word that's going to become your own custom dash dash command in just a second. We haven't typed in the prompt words yet. That's okay. This is just the name that you're assigning to the prompt words we're about to type in. So you could name this something like comics or comicify or comic style, all one word, something like that. And then when you want to bring up the prompt words that we haven't typed in yet, but we're going to in just a second, you would just type in dash dash comic style or dash dash comicify or whatever the word is that you typed in in this area. So I'm going to type in the word superhero here because I want to be able to type just dash dash superhero and have it come up with a set style for superhero characters for me. Okay, when you have your word set, the next thing you're going to do is hit tab. You might have to, again, hit it once or twice. Don't hit enter. Hit tab and you'll come up with the next field, which is the value field. This is where you're going to type in your prompt words. This is where you're going to save all the words you want to come up at the end of your raw prompt anytime you hit your dash dash command. And real quick, I think it's helpful, or you, you might want to consider including these four things in your saved option sets. Style information would be one. Aspect ratio, lens, and angle information would be two. Your no words or things you want to exclude would be the third thing I would consider. And then the fourth thing would be any seed information. If you want to actually save a seed number or a same seed number uh, to this option set, you should do that as well. So for me, I'm going to type in superhero, comic book character, dynamic pose, old comic book style, halftone style, comic art style, comic illustration, full body, wide angle, 16 millimeter, then some parameters, dash dash, aspect ratio, 9 by 12, dash dash, no Superman, double colon, negative 0.5 to just mid-journey at the current time. So does Stable Diffusion, actually. I really like to put the Superman S on the chest when you use the superhero word uh, character in your prompts. So that's it. You can just enter or tab out of there. You'll get a little command from the Midjourney bot letting you know that it has saved that option for you. You have 20 slots at the current time to store things in. So your next question would be like, oh, great. How do I delete ones that I don't want? You just type in slash prefer option set, and then you just fill out the first one, the option area with the name of the one you want to delete, and then you hit enter. If you go over to the value area and try to hit enter with it just empty, then we'll get a like this field is required thing. So you really want to just go slash prefer option set, get that option, that first field to come up, type in the name of the option or the slot that you have saved, hit enter, and you'll get a confirmation that it has been removed. And then you can reset it or you'll free up a slot. All right, so let's do one more for comic backgrounds, but this time we're going to do something crazy. We're going to add seed information to our saved option set text. So we're going to go prefer option set, and then we're going to type in the name comic BG, tab tab over again, and we're going to go comic background, comic book location, comic art, halftone style, flat shaded, dash dash AR 16.9 for the aspect ratio. And then we're going to go dash dash seed and put in a seed that I particularly like from ones that I've generated and think that works good for a background. 
Then we're going to go dash dash no people double colon negative one to try to remove people from this. Then we'll hit enter, get that all saved up. We'll get the confirmation. And now we can go create comic book superheroes and backgrounds really quickly. Like we can create the the French toast guy or we can create a, a fast food worker superhero guy. Or we can create an abominable snowman superhero that lives in a an icy location or like Matterhorn area. So there you go, the prefer option set process in mid-journey. I do hope that saves you some time in making your comics. If you're making a comic, especially like an Instagram comic, please, I would love to read it or see it. You can DM me on Instagram at Camp Peculiar, or you can share it in the comments below somehow. Like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos about making comics, graphic novels, visual storytelling stuff with AI art, and I will see you next time at Camp Peculiar.